What we've got here are Coopworth U hoggets, and they're in the Lucerne stand. They're quite happily grazing at the moment. They're sitting after having fed for the morning. And they'll be in this paddock for about eight to ten days. We're on about a 50 day rotation at the moment because it is the height of summer. We're trying to give the paddocks as long as possible to recover. So we've reduced the stocking rate down to now being about 30 hoggets per hectare. In the spring, the Lucerne can cope with probably double that, 60 hoggets per hectare. Or we often um, set 14 ewes plus twin lambs per hectare in a Lucerne stand. So if we had a 10 hectare block, that would be 140 ewes plus their twin lambs set on the first paddock and we'd start that grazing when the lucerne was about 15 centimetres tall. So, but we're in the middle of summer, we know that there is not a lot of recovery in the paddocks 5 and 6 in our rotation and so these animals will be in here for the best part of 10 to 12 days. We wouldn't want to keep them in here longer than that or they'll start to eat the regenerating buds on the um, bottom of the lucerne and also we've got a paddock ahead of them that is ready to be grazed as well. So they've got, at this stage, they've still got about three weeks of grazing ahead of them um, that, that will get them through the worst part of the summer and into February and hopefully in that next three week period we'll get some rainfall which will allow the other lucerne paddocks to recover. So if we call the paddock that the animals are currently grazing paddock one, this is paddock two or the next paddock that they're going to come in and graze and again they could be in here now eating but with a dry summer we're not sure whether we're going to get rainfall and recovery so we've got some conserved feed here ahead of them for them to be able to eat. The lucerne in this paddock is showing visible signs of water stress so that we've got some very short stems and some tall stems. This plant has obviously got a root that's a bit deeper than the other plants around it. These ones are being outcompeted and they're quite short but they're all flowering. Um, there's all high quality feed in here for the animals to come into and they'll move into this paddock in about 10 days time. As I said in an ideal situation they could have been grazing, we'd ideally want them grazing when the lucerne is about this tall, about 30 centimetres tall rather than where it is now which is around the 50 centimetre mark. This is paddock three in that rotation that we're talking about. We've just got some buds, the lucerne's not quite as mature as in the previous two paddocks, the buds haven't opened, the flowers aren't there. Um, the lucerne's lusher, there is a softer stem as we come to the top, it hasn't lignified anywhere near as much. This is actually what the ideal lucerne would look like if we were coming in for production stock and looking to have them maximising their animal growth rates. So at this time of the year the lucerne is not very lush, it's hardened off, we don't have problems with um, red gut or rapid passage of the, the lucerne through the animal. So we haven't got any extra sources of fibre out for them to graze here. The lucerne itself is providing that fibre and this would be ideal feed for um, production stock if you had them and you wanted to bring them in. Dairy cows, ewe lambs, um, uh, weaned lambs that you're trying to grow to heavy weights, this would be an ideal lucerne stand for them to be grazing. This is paddock four in the rotation and you can see some recovery of the lucerne. This would be ideal lucerne grazing height at any time of the year, about 30 centimetres tall. Um, this again is, is just starting to bud up but we don't really worry about the um, budding when we're grazing lucerne. What we're more interested in is the height. This is very good quality feed. No matter what we ate here, if I rip this off, um, I've got a little bit of lignification here at the bottom but essentially all of this is high quality feed that the animals would eat. So this paddock had animals grazing in it until about 13 days ago and this is 13 days recovery. Um, there's obviously some soil moisture that this plant has regrown on in this patch that we're looking at but if we look across the whole paddock we can start to see the effects of variability in soil moisture. So there are some areas of this paddock that are quite shallow and therefore the lucerne hasn't recovered as well and it's looking quite short and so this paddock is going to be quite drought stressed by the time the animals get here in about two weeks time. This was the paddock that the animals have come out of about two days ago and um, this is what they were leaving behind and in fact what this shows is that we really should have been grazing this lucerne stand a lot earlier. So those heavily flowering stands, they're producing a lot of stem and this one has a huge amount of stem on it that the animals just didn't eat. We've come in here after that grazing and topped it and that's why there's all this thatch sitting on the ground here and we top it to about five centimetres just above um, 
just above ground height and you can see there hasn't been very high utilisation of this particular stand. The leaves have all gone but because it's lignified, because it's hard, the animals didn't really want to eat this and we couldn't get any utilisation better. Probably in this paddock the utilisation was about 40%. We trim in our experimental plots so that we're not getting this in our new samples when we're measuring how much lucerne is regrowing. If we look at the lucerne just a few days after the animals have come out, we can see these basal buds starting to appear and the lucerne is starting to regrow from them. Given that we're in a dry condition, these buds are sitting here beautifully for accepting any rainfall that comes. If we don't get rain, I suspect this paddock will only get to about 10 centimetres tall and then we'll run out of moisture. So we've got about four weeks before we'd want to be coming into this paddock. If we get significant rainfall, and by that I'm meaning 30 to 50 centimetres of rainfall, uh, 30 to 50 millimetres of rainfall, then we'd expect to get a 30 centimetre crop of lucerne again.